Welcome to Big Ten in 10, a look at every Big Ten women's soccer team, every coach, and one distinguished alumni. And today, we are talking about the Penn State Nittany Lions women's soccer team. Hello, everybody. I'm Dean Linke, along with my broadcast partner, former Illinois All-Big Tener, Jackie Manny. And Jackie, today we talk Penn State with Erica Dombach and Rocky Rodriguez. Welcome to all three of you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Erica, we're going to start with you. You've had a lot of great players. So when we reached out to you, you're like, man, this is going to be fun. So, so many choices, but you went right to Rocky Rodriguez. Tell us why. Well, like you said, there are so many great choices. And um, Rocky was certainly one of the ones that popped in my head, but you can think through all of these players that have come through this Penn State program well before our staff arrived and since our staff's been here. But uh, Rocky, obviously, um, she's done so well in the collegiate game and then was the rookie of the year in the NWSL, a big star for Costa Rica, and most importantly, uh, one of the best human beings. Just don't tell her that. <laughs> Um, coach, I've always been a fan of the mental side of the game. Um, I just find it really fascinating. I know how important it is to your program at Penn State. What are some of the things that you do for your players that are solely focused on the sports psychology part of the game? Well, first off, um, there's a position called the director of operations that I think all of these programs have and um, in all sports. And we've chosen to use ours to bring in an expert to help us with the mental side of, of the game. Her name's Kara Lowry. And Kara has been with us for eight years. Rocky will smile when she hears her name because everybody knows the impact that Kara has on our program. But um, Kara's job is to help facilitate the mental side to, to the growth and development to use the experts on our campus, such as Carl Olson, our sports psychologist, connect these athletes to alums, to any, any resources we have. But that's where Kara has been so important. And I give her all the credit because she basically just tells me what to say and where to go and how to do it. Um, but she's certainly the brains behind it all and a huge reason for the success of our program. Rocky, I'm sure you did smile when you heard Carol's name, but I'm thinking that you also smiled when Erica reached out to you because you were part of so many big moments at Penn State, including knocking off Duke in the national championship game and winning the player of the year as well. What has Penn State meant to you in your development, Rocky? Um, yeah, I mean, I always, I don't think I will ever be able to put into words what Penn State meant to me, but uh, it was life changing and it was not only a dream come true to me, which I always say that, but I think um, I can I can't imagine going to a different school with a different program because the like you said, the development that I had as a soccer player was one that I most definitely needed and Penn State provided for me, but also I think it was the perfect program for me because and I'm not just saying this because coach is right here, but I, I do think that the program has an, uh, very, like, uh, it, it's an approach that takes into consideration the, the athlete as a whole, you know, and like uh, as a human being and human beings are very complex. So um, I, I not only, you know, had my ups and downs, but at, towards the end, it was really, really cool to just to look back and, and see how it was all not only worth it, but um, just to see the progress and, and just the relationships that we were able to build with teammates and, and coaches and just the Penn State community. So, uh, yeah, I, I absolutely, it's one of the um, best memories that I have in my soccer career, of course. Like, I mean, yes, the last year, but, but Penn, the Penn State chapter in my life is, it's very special. Kind of bring us back to that 2015 season. Um, it takes an incredible grind, obviously, to win a championship. What made that team special enough to win? I, I don't know. Like, when I look back, I think I think a huge part of the success of the team was how, like, we were so unified. And I think that the culture that I think Coach was trying to build from years before, and I don't want to say things that put words in, in her mouth that she's not saying, but I, I truly think that Coach – I remember – she was purposeful on that. And I think that it paid off that year, but not only we had an amazing culture, but we had a lot of talent. And I think that combination is so powerful. Like, um, you know, and, and yes, again, we had like our challenges and when we weren't performing, you know, there's always coach 
you know, just saying it's not good enough and be like keeping us honest. Um, so I think that combination of like accountability and talent, but also work ethic was, was really cool that it, it, you know, it brought the success, I think, in the end. Erica, part of being at Penn State is, yeah, definitely winning Big Ten titles and trying to win national championships. But the bigger part is building great young women, building character, and then watching them grow after they leave. And in a lot of cases, that means players playing for the U.S. national team. I'm hoping you're going to tell me, and you even were with the U.S. national team for a long time, that you were just as excited when Rocky Rodriguez made massive news, scoring the first ever goal in a World Cup for Costa Rica. That is just amazing. Well, you know, the, the moment that that happened is a moment that will stay in my mind forever, running around. Um, I, was, I was the one that bought the Rodriguez jersey right before <laughs> they switched sponsors. So I, I, I actually didn't have the perfect jersey picture on. Um, but part of our staff, Ann and Kara, had gone up to see her. And there were others in the stands. And to say we were proud, I mean, we were, we were proud parents and we were proud friends. And, and um, it, was, it was a big moment just experiencing it with her and um, she's made us proud on so many occasions but obviously that was on the biggest stage. Um, this one can maybe go to both of you guys but when I was at Illinois I remember Penn State just being our rival all the time and then I remember talking to Penn State players later in my career and then being like yeah everybody kind of thinks we're their rival. Um, what is it like to kind of always have that target on your back and always get teams best games? Yeah, um, yeah, that's true. I was gonna say, like, in the Big Ten, especially, I'm sure that, like, the beat, the team to beat is the one that's always winning, and everyone hates that team, you know, and that's just how it is. But it, but I love that, you know, and I think that it makes the game more interesting. Um, but I think it was great the fact that we would deal with that. Like, it was a pressure, you know. Like, if you're number one, you want to stay there, and that's not easy. Um, but I think it was great because, yeah, like it, it was like the regular season. So it gave us like, it was like a training, not, I don't want to say training because it was still really hard, but it was in some level, we were able to learn how to manage the stress and then slowly like build, um, like our, our performance was able to grow from there. So I think, like I said, I love the rivalries, and and honestly, every team was just tough. It was so physical. I remember the Big Ten forever will be the, one of the most physical games <laughs> I've ever played. Also under rough conditions, like climate conditions. I that's a little insane, but like all of that, it just makes you tougher and makes you um, you have to to bring out the grit. And and again, I think that that just prepares you for like the the. The latter part of the season hopefully you make it to the NCAA and then like yeah it just gives you I feel like a foundation for you know to keep building and and deal with the pressure and like yeah just get it done <laughs> <laughs> and for me I think looking at that 2015 season in particular I think in the 60th minute against Duke in the national championship game is where our experience in the Big Ten really kicked us into the next year I think there was a lot of skill on that. There was a lot of talent on the field in that national championship game. But what we learned playing against our Big Ten opponents when they would be physical, knock us down, put a target on our back, that really came out in those last 30 minutes of that game when we had to dig deeper, when we had to rely on our blue collar mentality. And that mentality is developed through the Big Ten season. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. We're at a point, this conference has become so strong that every team on the schedule can beat you. You've got to show up for every game or you're dropping points at this, at this point. Final minute here for big 10 and 10. We'll go to you, Erica, first. You're now firmly, you've got your roots down. You've got your two beautiful girls there as well. Your family is there to you in one sentence. Penn state means what Erica? It means family. You, you, you nailed it. It's uh, my own family and blood, but these student athletes, Rocky and the players that came before, um, when this season ended, I could think about the 14 years before and those players before, because it hurt them as much as it hurt the current student athletes. And the number I heard, heard from um, only reflected their love for this program.
And we're going to rattle them off again. She was the player of the year. She was a national champion. She scored a goal for Costa Rica in the World Cup. She was the NWSL Rookie of the Year, and I'm sure she's going to win NWSL titles. But after all of that, in one sentence, Penn State means what to you, Rocky Rodriguez? Oh, gosh. Um, it means it means special it's just a word that i can come like it's it's family too i guess you know like it's it's i can't put it in one word is that okay <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. a special oh, family I love that. a special place let's put it a special place in my heart i love that erica you gotta tell the story real quick as our as we go to our 10 minutes here about when you knew rocky was a special player because it was pretty early days upon her arriving yeah, so we were talking about this before the call. We were in preseason. Rocky had arrived, and obviously it took some time for her to adjust a little bit, and we were probably a week and a half into her freshman year of preseason, and we split the group up, and we played in an 11-a-side game, and the players are out there. They're working hard, and we're probably 15 minutes into this game, and, and Rocky looks up. She's about 40 yards from goal. She looks up, and she catches the goalkeeper out of the corner of her eye off off her line a couple yards and she just in only only the way rocky can do it just a little dink over the goalkeeper and at that moment our staff kind of looked, you know she had been good up to that point but that was the moment of this is really different there is something different and really special and let's try not to mess this up let's see what we can let's see what we can do here love that story i love penn state women's soccer anybody who loves women's soccer loves penn state women's soccer for erica and rocky and jackie i'm dean linky this has been big 10 in 10.